One of my favorite, favorite delights in autumn is working by candlelight in the studio. So I just restocked all sorts of candles in my drawers just to be ready. The light really creates a magical and inspiring atmosphere in the studio, which I really, really like. I can't have that in the summer, but when fall arrives, it's just a joy to work with candles. I'm finishing right now some decors and characters for my Paper Time Travel Part 2, which you are going to see very, very soon before starting other projects. I really wanted to finish this one. So I like to work on this one using a lot of candlelight. I also use candlelight uh, for the project itself. For the weekend, I went to visit a dear good friend of mine I didn't see for four years. I known her since 2008 and usually we saw each other more often than recently, but with everything going on, it took time to catch up and I was so delighted and pleased to visit her in her beautiful fairy tale kingdom in Switzerland at the very close to the French border. And she wanted us to go to a lot of nice um, fairy tale and witch places. So we went in the south of Alsace, which is in France this time, which is very close from her. And we went to visit the Crow Rock and the Rich Rock, which are deep in the forest. And we saw these ruins, which are the ruins of Le Château du Morimont, uh, which are not in a good shape. It's a very old castle, which is really, really decayed now, but it was fun and perfect to see uh, at this season. And we went back to her beautiful home, uh, which is a real fairy tale home. So you are not going to see her. She's a fairy, a very, very um, hidden fairy. She just lives very far from the internet, social media world, we could say that. Though she has an Instagram account just for her paintings, just to share her paintings, um, give her a little hello and a bit of encouragement. Maybe she's going to share a little more of her world in the future, who knows. For now, uh, I, was, I was allowed to film just a bit in her house, just to share the beautiful home she has and all her creativity and her ideas. But for now, you can see her, her decor, a bit of her decor with all her paintings she has on her walls. And uh, I met her thanks to a workshop I did actually in 2008 and we, we were very, very good friends ever since. So it's normal you see a bit of paper things here around because she loves paper and she likes to play with paper. She has some, some paper curtains in her kitchen. And this paper autumn decor she changes every season in surrounding her light bulb in the kitchen and I thought it was just, just a good idea too and very easy. She mixed real, uh, real branches with fake ones and real leaves with fake ones so it works pretty nice. 
she also has a wall filled with calendars and I thought it was just a good idea for those of us who are a bit obsessed with time and time flying she has a wall just with a lot a lot of calendars all um, all over it and I thought just such a nice idea she also has a lot of clocks she used to have all them in her kitchen and it cha she changed that because uh, people were a bit surprised to see all these all these clocks in the same room she has them now all over her home it's pretty fun to see You can see here the paper unicorn I did 10 years ago and she has this big unicorn now in her ground floor and you can see also here a card door which separates her entrance hall and the ground floor so pretty fun to see also. And before I leave, I ask her to play in her beautiful piano my favorite piece by Frédéric Chopin, the ballad number one. And she did it so beautifully. She didn't play this piece for a long, long time and she didn't have the sh music sheets in front of her, so she totally did it relying on her memories. And to hear this music played on this wonderful instrument, it was pretty magical. So I just had to share just a slice of it with you. a great cook at all but I just like to cook a little more during fall and winter and I did this cake many times already. I found it in my witch book which has been a gift offered to me many many years ago and I think there is one with soups and another one with other something else. This one is only for desserts and this one is with candy, ginger, apples, nuts, um, walnuts, honey and um, a few other things but it's just really delicious and absolutely perfect for the season. Hope you enjoyed this little autumnal video. I will have others coming, of course, on the theme of Halloween and fall. I have other videos coming too. For now, I will leave you here and I will see you very soon and I hope you are enjoying this beginning of fall.